Today we are looking at Physics 1501, May, June 2015. Question 1, let us start. Normally, question 1 consists of 10 marks and then you'll be given only 2 or 3 equations. Actually, 2 or 3 questions. Now in this case, we have question A, B, 5 marks, 5 marks. The scenario says a person steps off the end of a 3.00 meter high diving board and drops to the water below. A. How long does it take for the person to reach the water? So the scenario It's actually like this, and then there's a person here. Then we have water at the bottom. So basically, this person will drop into the water. Now, because they are saying the person drops to the water below, it means our initial velocity is 0 meters per second. We consider this as point A this as point B. And then the distance from the board to the water is 3.00 meters. Looking at other physical quantity we have time it takes for the person to move from A to B we have our displacement as 3.00 meters. We have our G gravitational acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. With this data we can actually answer the question. So the question it says how long does it take for the person to reach the water. This is the physical quantity we are looking for. Familiarize ourselves with equations of motion. We have four equations of motion. There is a lesson video whereby we look at equations of motion in detail. Make sure you watch that lesson video in order for you to actually understand how do we use them. The first question says we are calculating how long it takes for the person to move from point A to point B. Looking at the given data, we don't have the final velocity. We have the initial velocity as zero meters per second we have our a as 9.8 meters per second squared we are looking for time since this equation we have two unknowns we cannot use this equation for this question looking at the second equation we don't have the final velocity we have the initial velocity we have our a we have our displacement as 3.00 meters but you can see that the physical quantity we are looking for which is the time it's not part of the equation so this equation we cannot use it also looking at the next one we have the displacement we have initial velocity we are looking for the change in time we have our g we are looking for the change in time. So this and this it's one and the same thing. So this equation is suitable for this question. So we are going to use this equation. Our displacement is 3.00 it's equals to initial we have zero change in time plus half 9.8 change in time squared 3.00 0 multiplied by change in time is 0 so you no longer have this and then half multiplied by 9.8 we have 4.9 change in time squared now we remove 4.9 By dividing both sides this will result into 1 1 multiplied by change in time squared we have change in time squared is equals to 
3.00 over 4.9 how do you remove power 2 we square both sides now remember time is a scalar quantity so we cannot consider the negative side of it from the square root so time is equals to square root of 3.00 over 4.9 which is equals to 2 seconds so it takes 0.782 seconds for the person to actually reach the water below the board our next part of the question what is the person's speed on entering the water so we are looking at vf at this point back to our equations of motion we can use the first equation since we are looking for vf we have vi we have our g and then we also have our time but i prefer us to use the second equation since the given data requires the final velocity we have the initial we have the g we have the displacement unlike using the answer we got from the previous question if the rounding off is not appropriate then our answer might not be accurate so with this equation all the data is given from the scenario so we can actually use it to determine our final velocity so this is our equation so we have vf squared is equals to vi it's zero plus two we have 9.8 3.00 0 squared is the same as 0 so this will disappear we have vf squared is equals to 2 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 3.00 we put square both sides and then we have vf is equals to square root of 2 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 3.00 the answer is 7.668 meters per second so the person will enter the water with this velocity that's it for this lesson video this is wahula sj thank you very much